Hey, good morning and welcome to the Engaged Group at Holy Trinity Church in Rudgwick. Lovely to be with you once again. I hope the announcement about returning to school is good news for you and not bad news. I know you guys are anxious probably to see your friends and get back to learning in a more uh, normal environment. The bad news is it's still many weeks until I can get a haircut. My family are now teasing me saying I look a little bit um, homeless, but you know, we do what we can. We'll, we'll wait and see what happens. Um, if you don't know what we are, we're a Christian youth group in Runswick, West Sussex, that's in England. And we're happy that you've joined us for this video. If you want to know more about what we get up to, you can email me at youth at rudswickchurch.org.uk. And this group is for kind of 10-year-olds to, say, 14, um, somewhere in there. But, of course, you're welcome to watch and take part, regardless of what age you are. If you want to get in touch, make sure you get your parents' permission, um, and because we like to follow all the safeguarding uh, policies and procedures so, um, but do get in touch if you want to know more. We've been studying the Ten Commandments, which is in the Old Testament, Exodus chapter 20. And we've been talking about quite a few of those for a few weeks now. This week, we're going to focus on one of the Ten Commandments that has to do with uh, families. And so it's got me thinking, and maybe uh, you can help me out with this. Have you ever um, done a family tree has anyone in your family maybe researched your ancestry? Um, anybody have any, uh, uh, are you descendants of royalty or something like that? Have you got King Henry VIII somewhere in your family line? And maybe you haven't gone back that far, but I'd love to see, if you don't mind creating one, get a bit of paper out and just put your immediate family, your mom and dad, if you have any siblings and that kind of thing. And that would be something you could do uh, for a sweet reward as we think about these uh, Ten Commandments and the way God wants us to live, particularly in regard to our families. Now, early on in this series, we talked about how there's two categories of the Ten Commandments. Do you remember what they are? There are four of them, the first four that tell us how to relate to God. Hopefully you've remembered that. And the other six are about how we relate to other people. And we said this one commandment that we're talking about uh, today is one that kind of can go either way because uh, the commandment that we're looking at today from Exodus chapter 20, verse 12, honor your father and your mother so that your life will be long on the fertile land that the Lord your God is giving you. This commandment kind of goes both ways because it's about how we treat our parents, particularly uh, but it's also how we treat um, others res with respect, not just our parents, but our elders. Um, leadership could be teachers or um, people in the church, um, grandparents, etc. And as we're going to see in a minute, and I said this a few weeks ago, you might remember, but we're going to see this now clearly from the New Testament, that how we treat our parents very often um, is connected to how we honor God. And we're going to make that more clear um, in just a moment. So if you've got a Bible, why don't you turn with me to Matthew. Uh, we're going to look at this in the New Testament and what Jesus has to say about this commandment of um, honoring our father and mother. Matthew chapter 15. And if you need a moment to um, look that up, you can pause the video and come back to it. When you found it, Matthew chapter 15, we're going to start with verse 1, and we're going to read through nine verses. Now, some of the bits in this passage are a little bit confusing, but don't worry. We'll come back to it, and I'll try to explain to you what is going on here. So Matthew chapter 15, beginning with verse 1. Then some Pharisees and teachers of the law came to Jesus from Jerusalem and asked, why do your disciples break the tradition of the elders? They don't wash their hands before they eat. Jesus replied, And why do you break the commandment of God for the sake of your tradition? For God said, Honor your father and mother. 
And anyone who curses their father or mother is to be put to death. It's a bit harsh, isn't it? But you say that if anyone declares that what might have been used to help their father or mother is devoted to God, they are not to honor their father or mother with it. Thus, you nullify the word of God for the sake of your tradition. You hypocrites! Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you. These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain. Their teachings are merely human rules. Now, as I said, this some of what's happening here in this passage is a little bit confusing. So let's try and unpack a little bit. First of all, do you remember who uh, the Pharisees were? The Pharisees were really religious people. They were... Um, they were meant to be kind of experts in the Old Testament. They were meant to be religious uh, scholars, if you will. But there was a problem. They were really strict. They were really mean. And they were actually hypocritical. Do you know what I mean by that? In other words, they, uh, they said for people to do things that they didn't do for themselves. And so they were really, although they were supposed to be experts, they were really bad at what they did. And what was happening was uh, there was this thing where you could dedicate something that you had to be a gift for God. And the Pharisees um, were basically saying to people, don't worry about honoring your parents. Don't worry about honoring your father and your mother. It's more important to pay honor to God. And here's the confusing bit. I mean, it is important to honor God, isn't it? But what does Jesus say in this passage? He says, you Pharisees, you're supposed to be experts, but actually you're being hypocrites. Jesus basically says one of the ways that we honor God is by honoring our parents. Now, keep in mind, Jesus is not talking to children here. He's talking to adults. So he's talking to people like me who need to be doing what I can, what we can, to honor our parents. That might be helping them in some way. It might be looking after them, caring for them. Uh, but it also applies to, to young people and children, doesn't it? What are some ways that we can honor our parents? And then by doing that, we are also honoring and giving praise and glory to God. See, the Pharisees, where they made the mistake and where they were hypocrites is they wanted to separate those things out. They said, honor God, don't worry about your parents. And that is clearly not what the scripture tells us to do. In the Old Testament, it tells us, honor your father and mother. And now Jesus is saying, you know, a thousand years later, after Moses gave the Ten Commandments, Jesus is saying, guys, we still need to be honoring our father and mother. And we can honor God. It's not an either or. Let's do both. And so that's really what's happening there. Now, as we said, this is the fifth commandment, and it's a real clear example of one of the commandments that relates to uh, or helps us to relate to other people and also helps us to relate to God. So I want us just to think for a moment, and maybe you've got a pen or pencil and a bit of paper, but I want you to think about different ways that you as a young person can honor your parents and your elders. Maybe just if you're there watching with someone, maybe discuss it amongst yourselves. What are some ways that we honor our parents? Probably someone or some of you have said something like obeying them. Absolutely. Doing what your mom and dad have said, what they've asked you to do or not doing what they've asked you not to do. Maybe some of you have said being grateful or being thankful. You know, when's the last time that after... Uh, mom or dad cooked you a lovely, nutritious meal. You said, hey, thanks, mom. Thanks, dad. That was a really good meal. I enjoyed that. But we take for granted those things, don't we? We think, oh, they just do it every day. So, But actually, have we thanked them for it? What about uh, saying kind things to them? I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for all that you do for me. Um, what about just having a good attitude? These are all ways that we can honor our parents. What about, you know, all the chores that they've asked us to do? Try to do it, you know, without complaining. You know, things like, you know, maybe you have to tidy your room or it's your job to look after a pet. 
um, or do you have other chores around the house? Um, doing those things and not complaining about it. I know it's not always easy. I'm a parent and I'm a son who has parents. Um, my parents weren't perfect and I'm not a perfect parent, but we can still honor and give respect to one another. And I, let me just say another thing too. Sometimes people have difficult relationships with their parents. And so we're not saying that honoring your parent always means doing absolutely everything they say if your parent is trying to get you to do something that's not right or that's not the, not a good thing to do. And if you're in a situation like that, you might want to talk to somebody about that. Talk to you know, a teacher or someone at church that you can trust. Um, so I just want to be careful about that because honoring our parents does mean obeying and respecting them. But sometimes there are special circumstances that we need to take into consideration. And if you want to chat about that, then obviously um, you can get in touch with me at youth at rudswickchurch.org.uk or in some other way. Okay, right. Um, I've also, uh, if you're on my mailing list, I have sent you um, a diagram of some honored tickets. And what that means is when we think about the word honor, um, yes, we mean obey and respect and those kinds of things. But if I were to say to you, um, such and such famous actor has been given an honor, what would you think that means? It probably means some kind of award, some kind of special recognition. And so I have, you've got you should been you've been emailed this. Sorry, can't talk today. You've been emailed this honored tickets, and that's just some th some things that you can do, a way that you can honor your parents. So have a look at those, cut those out, and maybe give one, fill it in, and give it to your parent, and show them a way that you can uh, honor and respect them, and give them something special. So your uh, sweet rewards for this week, uh, you got three possible things or two actually. First is, if you want to create a nice little family tree and decorate it uh, artistically, I'd love to see those if you want to send that to me. Um, also, if you memorize Exodus 20, chapter 12, that is the verse, sorry, chapter 20, verse 12. That is the uh, verse where it talks about honoring our father and mother from the Ten Commandments, that bit. I'll say that one more time. Exodus 20 verse 12 and then uh, I can't really give you a sweet reward unfortunately for the honored tickets because that's something that you're going to do for your parents but I've sent you those feel free to use them please do and I think you will enjoy that and I know your parents or grandparents or you could do it for a teacher you could do it for uh, someone else you know an elder someone that you respect and appreciate you want to show them some kindness you could send that um, to them and I think that would really be a blessing to them and they would enjoy that. Why don't we pray? Father, thank you for this time we've had together this morning. Thank you for your word. Thank you for teaching us how to live in a way that honors you, in a way that uh, makes relationships with other people work well and, and be right and good, and in a way that makes us happy and healthy too. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Great, wonderful, see you soon, and um, hope to see you next week for the Engage Group. Take care, bye.